Hello everybody, this is your girl Blessed Abundantly. I know yesterday I was trying to record or do a live actually about a video that was made concerning me and concerning something I did last week. Uh, last week I did share some court documents on my platform. Now, I didn't delete the video. The video is, it went from public to private. So the video is still there, but you can't see it because I put it in the private section to where I can only see it. But what I had was some civil cases, um, and that was it. It was only three um, court documents. But how be ever, they, I found them in a public place, and that was it. Um... There was a video made concerning me, and I'm not going to address this blogger no more. I'm not going to make any more videos about this blogger. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, he did say some things about me. I'm not afraid of him trying to sue me or nothing like that. No. But, and that's because I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't slander his name. I didn't sit up there and say, oh, you know, I, you had this and that. Or you did this and that, you know, none of that. I didn't know. I wasn't the one who said that he was a pimp. I wasn't the one who said that he had beat up his wife and all. I didn't do none of that because I didn't have no paperwork. The only paperwork I had was that it could have been a divorce. It seemed like there was some child support and something that had to do with taxes. And that was it. And all of that was in a civil court case. I didn't have no paperwork concerning no criminal charges of anything. Just because somebody got on their platform and said that they had paperwork, you know, when I see it, then I'll believe it. Just like with Juanita Bynum, when they were saying she was sleeping with all these women, I'm like, only one woman I know that came on her platform and somebody else's platform and said that they had a relationship with Juanita Bynum. And that was years ago. I mean, this lady came out three years ago and said she had a relationship with Wiley Bynum in the late 90s, early 2000s, and that was it. Nobody else came out and said that they had a relationship with Wiley Bynum. And Wiley Bynum, way after the early 2000s, you know, right around 2013-14, she was on Frank's Key Morning Show and had mentioned that she had been with men, she'd been with women. And that she had did drugs, but she was delivered from that. She was doing an inspirational vitamin. And that's how people found out for the first time that Juanita Biden was into women. The people that didn't know. But I could not take what somebody said on their platform and use it. Because I'm not trying to go. I'm not trying to go to court. I'm not trying to be sued. And so that was the same thing with this blogger. I can't take what somebody else said on their platform just because they said they had these documents and that they was, you know, the actual documents and this is the actual person. Until I see those documents, I can't use that. The only thing I had was something that was civil. That had to do with civil court cases that happened just about 20 years ago. Like happened around 2001. I had two of those uh, one to do with the tax and one to do with maybe a separation from wife. Uh, and the other one was in 2006. That was it. Those were years ago. Those were done and over with. And I'm well aware that this man's kids is grown. So that wasn't nothing to hurt him or to tear him down at all or to make him lose money. People go through divorces all the time. You know, that's how the way it is. Some people just find out that when they get together that that is best for them to separate. That they can get along together without living in the same house. I worked with somebody that was like that. They was married for a while and him and his ex-wife became best friends when they got a divorce. They were still good friends and everything. They got along a lot better divorce than they did married. But how be ever, I'm not afraid of this blogger. I just wanted to let you guys know. I was about to share something else.
but I decided not to do that. Um, you could look up any court cases to see if anybody had any court cases, any criminal records. You could do that online. Uh, I didn't find no criminal cases against this guy at all. The only thing I found was the civil court cases. That was it. And I did put that on my platform, but then I put, I didn't delete the video. I just put it from the public to the private section so that everybody else would not see it. So that, that if any lawyer asks me any questions about what I put, you know, what my video was about, I'll have it right there. But I'm not going to address this blogger no more. I think that, you know, he was felt like he was kind of like trying to degrade me in a way, call me ghetto, uh, say I didn't get past middle school or something like that. Um, you know, I'm not going to rip him up again. I'm not going to sit up there and, and make fun of him or crack any more jokes about him. Um, it is what it is. I don't, I don't have time to address the ignorance at all. But I'm just letting you guys know that I'm well aware of what what was going on and that I don't have time to be sitting up there and dealing with court cases. And, uh, you know, if somebody said there was a court case or somebody did something wrong, yeah, I'm going to look it up to see if it's true. This guy, he got court cases on somebody else. Uh, this guy has threatened other people. Um, one in particular in, in that video you can't see anymore because he deleted that video the next day after he made that threat to go to Chicago. Um, but all in all, you know, he had been throwing shot at other bloggers too. And not only that, it's like when somebody starts doing the same thing to him or something similar. Now you have to go after them. So I do want to let him know that I am not, you know, I don't know King Jai's and Miko. And I had said when I first made my videos some months ago at the early part of this, this year, around February, that I, it might have been around March because the COVID-19 pandemic I hit around March when everything was closing down. I had said I'm not team this, I'm not team that. You know, even though I might follow these guys on YouTube and see what they post and have subscribed to their channel, that do not mean that I'm friends with them. I don't know them. I, I only know the stuff that they put out there about other people, about themselves. That's it. I don't be sending them videos of what somebody else had did on a platform or said about them. And I don't send videos about what they said about other people to other folks. Now, let me make this play. I did, however, when I first, last year, when I first started seeing that there was a lot of uh, videos being made about, about wanting to buy them. And this was around when... um when she was supposed to be preaching in Virginia, but canceled out. I did, however, um, I did, however, I think I either, either wrote or sent a video about why she didn't send a lawsuit or anything, if this stuff isn't true about what these people were saying. You know, but I didn't know these people at the time. I didn't know who they were. And that was all new to me, saying... You know, people having platforms and exposing preachers and all of that. All of that was new to me because I wasn't following people like that. I was following other folks who uh, was talking about other stuff. I'll put it that way. I was following the call to uprising and truth unedited. Those were people I was following. Um... So I think that was only one time I did that. Anything else I sent to anybody was concerning videos that I made 
concerning them. And I know Juanita Biden was tagged in a few of my videos, and I actually sent one that I made, a couple that I made to about her to hers. And I did tag that blogger to one of my videos. But other than that, I don't be taking people's stuff and, and what they say about another blogger and send it to that blogger and make them wear and do it over there. No, no I don't do that. I just hear what you guys have to say about each other, and that's it. That's it, because I don't want to be in no mess. And so, like I said, I just had to, to address the ignorance, because I happened to see that this video was being made about me while I was at work. And I didn't have time to really look at it until I got out of work. And so I looked at it around 4 o'clock. I listened to it on my way home. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm laughing while this man is talking. It seems like people is flagging this video, too. Because there was a long pause, and then the screen went dark. And then he came back. It seemed like people was just flagging the heck out of that video. And I thank you for flagging it, because this is a guy who has dragged women. And just, is, he dragged women. He had dragged gay people. It just seemed like it's just non-stop with him. So I don't want to be in that mess. So I'm not mentioning him no more. I'm not tagging him in any videos. I'm not mentioning his name so that people will go over there to see what's going on. I'm going to give him the same respect that he gives me. So I just let you guys know. I know... You know, I'm not a um, wimp or anything like that, but some battles, you have to choose how you're going to fight your battles. And some battles are not meant for you to be physically out there fighting or shouting, yelling, screaming, or, you know, threatening folks or anything like that. Some battles is meant to be fought in silence. And I know I heard, I was listening to Earl Carter say that um, silence is um, that you... Um, in other words, that you agree with what they're saying or something like that. And no, just because I'm silent, that don't mean I agree. He didn't say agree, but he used another word. But it was, but no, just because I might be silent, I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, y'all have a good one. And... You know, share the video. And, you know, those who are not subscribed, subscribe. I'll try to do something that's exciting, fun. You know, I need, do need to talk about this guy who's been arrested. Uh, he was on a Netflix series. Uh, something to do with cheerleading. Well, he got arrested for, for having pictures of underage boys and soliciting underage boys. You know, a couple of twins that was 13 years old, um, trying to get them to show their private parts. And, you know, we just got some sick people out there. That's all. Just some sick people. I do need to talk about that. Um, but I'm not going to talk about it tonight. I just want to get on to address this blogger who is sitting up there nitpicking. Certain people, he got five people so far. I don't make one of, I don't want to be the six. He already done been going after five bloggers so far. And hopefully it ends with that. But he only, look, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not upset. I was laughing at the video that he felt like he needed to make just because he seen. Me with those court documents on my platform. And it was in public. And they came back and, and verified that, yeah, that's what he was going through and all that. And, you know, that I should have had mentioned his kids was grown and lived with him and all that. I don't know anything about nobody's personal life. So I can't mention anything that I don't know. Yeah, I know that your kids are grown now. They have to be. I mean, if I have a document for child support that's from 2006 and we're 2020, 
That's 14 years later. I would imagine that they would be grown. So, it is what it is. But yeah, have a blessed night. Bye.